Hey everybody, this is Scott Barker, and I just wanted to reach out to you today. Uh, I was listening to a podcast uh, that uh, that hit home to me this morning. Uh, I'm, I'm often listening to podcasts and learning from other people and studying successful people and, and those sorts of things. Um, but uh, and so the, this morning I was listening to uh, Brian Buffini talk. Uh, he was hosting a, hosting a an interview and. Um, you know, he had talked about what are the seven traits of a successful people or successful entrepreneur. And, and you know, although I've heard uh, other entrepreneurs and successful people go through, you know, what they think are, are important, you know, traits um, and, and things to model after to become successful, I think the way that, that, that Brian uh, laid it out uh, was, uh, had hit home pretty well for me. So I just want to share that with you real quick. So the first trait that he talks about is that a successful person has an optimist to learn. So they're very learning based. Uh, they read a lot. They, you know, interview people a lot. Um, they uh, study. Uh, they study people and systems and markets and those sorts of things constantly. So that's that's the first trait is that they're very learning based. They're very active. Um, the second is that they do what it, they have a do what it takes mentality. So you know they're they're not they're not people that are necessarily going to give up after the first couple of tries they're just going to do whatever it takes to be successful you know Brian talks about you know his uh, migration here uh, and uh, how he came you know to the US with uh, with almost nothing in his pocket and so you know growing up in that environment um, you had no choice but to keep working at it to be successful uh, you know Myself growing up in, in a fairly humble environment, uh, you know, it certainly had plenty of role models uh, to um, encourage me and, and to show me that that's, that's kind of how things are done as well as uh, all the people that I speak with and, and study and, and, uh, and try to model after as well. So that hit home quite a bit for me. Uh, third uh, trait that he talked about is that successful people have a desire or a, a willingness to out perform or outwork other people. So, um, you know, not just coming in and, 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 and giving it your 40 hours and punching the clock and going home, but, but literally willing to, you know, find ways to be more, more, um, more productive, more efficient, you know, and, and, and if it takes more than 40 hours a week to be successful and to get to where you need to be, uh, successful people are, are typically um, going to do those things. So that's that's another trait. Uh, the fourth is that they have a heartfelt spirit of gratitude. So they're not pompous, they're not full of themselves. Um, although they may be confident, uh, they still have uh, a, a spirit of gratitude and they're very thankful for, for where they're at and with what they have and those sorts of things. Um, the fifth is that they have a boldness to invest. So these are people that, that they're, they're very learning based uh, but they're not just learning to, you know, to understand the concepts and just sit in a classroom. They're learning it to do it, and they actually take the actions and they take the risks. You know, not only with their time, but potentially even financially. So um, that's that's a probably a pretty good key action. I think is probably one of the biggest differentiators that I've seen and heard about uh, from other other professionals um, that, that kind of separates. Um, successful people from from the average or mediocre so that's a big one uh, the sixth was uh, the willingness to delay gratification so this one might be a little bit more of a common one that you'd hear uh, you know not being one of those impulsive people um, uh, being will you know being willing to uh, uh, delay your gratification uh, to get to where you want to be you know, not chasing uh, shiny objects and those sorts of things. So that's a good one. Uh, and then finally, you know, remembering where you came from and keeping that perspective in, in, in all things that you do. You know, uh, like I'd mentioned, Brian had, you know, uh, migrated here and uh, had nothing in his pocket and, um, you know, has over time uh, been very consistent in, in building himself up to where he's at today. And uh, that's, that's how I envision myself as well, uh, moving forward as well. So anyway, I just thought that those, uh, that, that Brian did a really great job explaining that. I just want to share it with you today. 
Uh, hope you're having a great day. If you need anything, feel free to give us a call. Reach out to us anytime. Thanks.